Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at four of the best camp locations in Fallout 76 if you are looking to farm lead. This is a continuation of a series where I'm going to be going through the best camp locations in the game for different resources that you're trying to farm, so if you missed the first episode, make sure to check that out now. All of the locations you're going to see in this video feature a relatively central location that will save you some caps while fast traveling across the map as well. Without further ado, let's get into it and let's start with our first location. So as you can see in the video, if you find any ore deposit in the game, you can place one of these mineral extractors on top of it. These mineral extractors are learned by default at level 1, so you don't need to find any plants for this. So all you need to do is find an ore deposit that you want to extract from. This video is going to cover lead specifically, however future videos will cover more rare and hard to find ores. The extractors themselves require 10 energy to power, as well as the materials that you see listed up in the top right corner of the screen. These extractors work exactly how the extractors work at workshops. They passively generate you the resources while you're away, so whenever you fast travel back to your camp, you can go ahead and grab the resources, grab whatever water or any other items that you're farming at the camp, and continue on your adventure. So this location is actually a pretty prime location. It's right near a railroad station if you want to go ahead and sell items. So this is where it is on the map if you want to go and explore and find the spot. It's located at the top of a little hill overlooking a large area of the world. In fact, if you go ahead and build a 5-story tower out here, you actually have one of the best panoramic views of the entire game world, so really an excellent spot to build a camp. The next two locations are located way up north in the top of the map, and they don't provide exactly the best location if you're trying to reduce fast travel costs, however they are better than if you picked either one of the corners of the map. Both locations additionally are relatively close to the munitions factory, so you can fast travel to your camp, set up your lead collector, collect some lead, then walk over to the munitions factory, capture the munitions factory, and continue to farm more and more ammo, which is probably why you were making these lead farms in the first place. Think of it as doubling your investment. The nice thing about this location is that in addition to farming lead, there's a junk pile located right in front of it, so you can farm a little bit of junk along with your lead farm that you're working on. This will make your ammunition crafting a little bit easier as you'll be able to get some steel scrap from the junk pile as well. Our next camp location that features a lead deposit is located just a bit to the northeast of the previous location. The advantages that this location has over the previous is the fact that it is on a lot more flat ground. So you'll have a little bit easier time creating your adhesive farms if you're trying to make one of those, or to build an elaborate base because it gives you more room to build a flat foundation to build up bigger and bigger items on your base. If you're having difficulty identifying the location of this lead deposit, look for the little tower that you see me scoped up on in the video. This tower will also spawn a power armor frame, so you can go ahead and farm power armor frames just by world hopping and spawning in at your camp, collecting your lead, and going back and forth and back and forth. Pretty cool location. So this next location actually already had someone's base at it on the server when I was going and exploring and finding this location, which made it a lot easier to find. However, unfortunately, I've given away your spot, dude, so I do apologize. Regardless with the upcoming update that's going to make it so camps don't despawn when you go ahead and swap into servers or switch into servers, it really will improve the quality of life of all of these camps that I'll be finding in these different locations videos. Regardless, this location is probably one of the best. It features an incredibly central location that gives you excellent access to the Harper's Ferry Merchant as well as the Watoga Train Station Merchant, so you can fast travel between the two of those for relatively cheap cap costs. Additionally, it features a good amount of flat area as well as an amazing view of the terrain around it. And that is basically it, guys. So those are four excellent locations if you're looking to farm lead for your automatic weapon so you can keep up your ammo supplies. Now I do know that these locations are going to become more popular as videos like this come out. However, hopefully with the upcoming update where they deal with the camp despawning issues, this really won't become too much of a problem as we progress further into the life of Fallout 76. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you with your lead farming. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like, check out some of the other Fallout videos on the channel, and if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing as it does really mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you at the next video. Peace.